Ohio. That is a state that Donald Trump won twice by a very comfortable margin. Voters overwhelmingly approved a measure to make abortion a constitutional right in that red state. That ought to tell you a lot about the issue of abortion. GOP candidates, you need to be smart about this because in 11 months, you have a prime opportunity to regain power in D.C. and get our country back on track before it's too late. Anyway, here now with more. South Dakota Governor Christy Nome is with us. Governor, great to have you back. Happy New Year. Oh, happy new year, Sean. You're in Florida in a beautiful state, but the news is still bad. We still have Joe Biden as our president and the country's in trouble. So I'm in Iowa this week talking to folks and having those conversations about those critical issues that you were just discussing. Well, let's talk about let's talk about what I'm saying about reluctance and resistance to mm -hmm. voting early, voting by mail. That's not the system I want. I don't think it is the system that has mm -hmm. the most integrity that would give us the most confidence and results. However, it's the system we're living with. It'll be the system in 2024. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with me that conservatives and Republicans need to get over reluctance and resistance towards early voting and voting by mail? Absolutely. If it's your state law, then you need to use the law to make sure that you can be victorious and get the right man in the White House that can fix the problems in this country. Listen, we've seen, Sean, what Secretary of States will do. Look at what happened in these two states in our country where these Secretary of States, the chief election officers, broke the Constitution to remove Donald Trump off the ballot, and another one spoke out in support of her. So the Democrats will do anything to win. Uh, they don't care about the Constitution. They don't care about law and order. They don't care about our election law. Laws. We do. We have integrity. We're going to use this system to our highest performance level and run it with excellence so that we can win. Let me talk about the issue of abortion. And I'm not asking you about your own mm -hmm. personal view. I happen to be pro-life, mm -hmm. believe in the sanctity of life. I, I, I donate to a group, preborn.com, um, uh, because I believe in their mission. They use the science of 4D ultrasound to convince expecting moms. They give them free ultrasounds. Uh, to choose life. But on the political side, mm -hmm. where do you stand politically? Because I believe politically, probably the country, poll after poll that I read, is probably at first trimester, 15 weeks, was, which was the Dobb decision. Nobody that even says they're pro choice likes uh, or supports late term abortion, which many Democrats do. What is your position there? You know, what bothers me so much, Sean, is that people aren't even having these conversations. They're not even talking about it and avoiding it, which causes the public not to trust them. So I think that at the federal level that that certainly is where the public is landing. Absolutely. And the, the issue is that us as leaders, we don't get to be dictators. We, we follow um, the public and the public opinion. I get to have personal views and I advocate for policies. But at the end of the day, the voters decide and they decide what the laws are. And so that's one of the things that we as conservatives mess up so often as we don't have the conversations we talk like crazy people and then we never get the chance to actually govern and we need to be a little smarter and wiser in how we have these conversations and let people know that we we care about these families we care about mothers we care about their health that in south dakota we've started um a, a, a a website that is all about how we can come alongside and support women in these situations that are unplanned yeah any other advice you would offer unprompted by me. Um, well, I think that, uh, that Americans need to start sitting down and having conversations and that con you know, conservatives can't shy away from these issues. So you know, that's what I think, that they're having lots of different debates. Roe v. Wade changed everything in this country, put the conversation at the state level. My state law looks very different than what is in place in Florida or Illinois or any other state. Uh, if there's a decision that's made at the congressional level, uh, the, the public will be weighing in on this election cycle and that that is what, what the leaders will follow. Yeah. All right. Governor Noem, great to see you. By the way, you have a great jobs mm -hmm. program. Um, you've now got thousands of people that you're incentivizing to go to South Dakota. Uh, that's a tribute to you. Yep. Even even people that become a print, get a, an apprenticeship are making 80 grand a year by moving to your state. That's a great program. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you, Governor. Appreciate it's it. It's fantastic. All right. According to a new poll, many